demonstrate how to do a fiber optic laryngoscopy. So this is the fiber optic laryngoscope of Mentex company which we are using. We have uh, anesthetized the patient's nose and throat with lido, uh, lignocaine 4% and some decongestant dirometazolate nasal drops. We hold the laryngoscope. I am holding laryngoscope on my right hand which is very close to the nose. We tell the patient to breathe from mouth. Tondani Swargya. Hadu hadu. Tondani Swargya. Tondani. Move for Kisan. Normal and it is important that our finger rests on patient's cheek so we don't injure patient anywhere and the control is on my left hand thumb whereby we can move the tip of the scope up and down. One important point of keep holding the laryngoscope is we should not keep the curvature too much because once the curvature is too much if I move my left hand the tip does not move much it should be in a straight line which will help in movement transmitted directly to the tip because we have sprayed patient will not have any problem we insert the scope in the nose check which side is more patent we check which side is more patent in this patient this is the left nostril this is the right nostril as you can see the left side is more patent. We gently insert the scope inside the nose. Just get the orientation of the nose. We can see the inferior turbinate, the nasal septum. Let the patient not extend the neck too much. The best place is to go below the middle turbinate with patient breathing from mouth, Tondani Shwadhyaya. This is the only place where patient has a little bit of discomfort. Once you reach the nasopharynx, keep the scope there for a few seconds so patient get used to this situation. And tell the patient to breathe from nose normally, normal normal. Don't let the patient extend. So we are seeing the nasopharynx. We can see the roof of nasopharynx. We can see the eustachian tube area of the left side. We keep the scope in the midline and also we will see the torus tuberis of the right side. There is some thick secretion saliva present in the nasopharynx. We gently cross Whenever there is fogging, we tell the patient to swallow saliva. So the it acts as an anti-fog. We can see the uvula here. Nathani Shwadhyaya. This is the uvula. Okay. Now we are at the tongue base area. At this point, we tell the patient to take the tongue out. Jeep bhai kada. Purna jeep bhai. Aman. Jeep bhai. At this point, we see the jeep bhai. Glossoepiglottic fold. Jeep bhai. Now, we are seeing the epiglottis, we can see thick secretions present, we can see epiglottis, which is slightly congested, otherwise normal. Now at this stage, look at both the pyriform, tell the patient to say E, so the pyriform opens up, E mana, this is the left pyriform. So that, that was the right pyriform, this is the left E mana. E mana. During E, the pyriform opens up and we can see the pyriform. We are also seeing the vocal cords. Again, it is fogging, so I tell the patient to swallow Thunki Gira. Okay. Now we see the arytenoids, the aryepiglottic fold, and we can see vocal cords. E mana. Mm. So we can see thick secretions and there are mucus, mucus between the two vocal cords. We can see the subglottic area. 
the findings we will discuss in a moment. Now we can rotate the laryngoscope to 180 degree so that we get an anterior view of the vocal cords. You see my hands, I am rotating it at 180 degree and at this moment we can see the, this is a good maneuver to see the anterior commissure well. Now we are seeing the anterior commissure better after rotating the laryngoscope to 180 degree. E mana. So any minimal pathology at the anterior commissure also will not be missed out by this maneuver. So this is an easy way of doing the fibrotic laryngoscope. I am taking as you withdraw, you withdraw along the passage so there is no pain or discomfort to the patient. And the salient feature in this patient is hypertrophied lingual tonsil. And that is why we could not see the glossoepiglottic fold. It's a midline fold when we tell the patient to uh, take, the, uh, take the tongue out. And we saw the pyriform. This is the right pyriform. This is the left pyriform, which are seen better when patient phonates E. In that case, the pyriforms open up. And we can see thick secretions which are present. Again, as we forward, I'll just forward and this is the right pyriform fossa when patient is saying E, the eriepiglottic fold medializes. This is the eriepiglottic fold, the left pyriform. So in this, this is the right pyriform, this is the left pyriform. This prominent structure is the arytenoids. These are the eriepiglottic fold of right and left side and these are the true vocal cords, the white structure and above that there is false vocal cord. We can see the string sign present which signifies some acid reflux. Hypertrophy lingual tonsil also suggests acid reflux and if you very carefully see there is congestion over the arytenoid which is all reddish. This also is a significant feature of laryngopharyngeal reflux. And when we rotated the laryngoscope to 180 degree, we could see the anterior commissure well. This is the anterior commissure area. We could see the anterior commissure, more string signs seen. This rotation of the laryngoscope helps to visualize the vocal cord in its entirety from anterior to posterior. So this is how we do a fiber optical laryngoscopy and as we withdraw the scope, I have rotated it back and we carefully withdraw the scope out without any trauma or discomfort to the patient.